Bump Love is brought to you by Each of us is here to help, heal, listen and care. At Mary Stops Hospital, you matter. Book your appointment today on 0800-120-333 or visit our physical location at Forest Mall, Lugogo. Hello and welcome back to another thought-provoking, exciting, positive field conversation on Uganda's number one family talk show. <laughs> We are tooting our horn. Allow us, please. <laughs> <laughs> a bump lover once commented, you never know what topic the ladies are going to unleash on us. Yeah. And I promise we are not going to disappoint today. Come on now. But first, a big shout out to our partners, Zuri Luxury Hair, Fashion Episode, Shoe Puzzle, and Shades of Beauty, who every week make sure that we are consistently looking our best yeah. follow them on instagram and all their social media platforms if you want to look like this or even better uh -huh. and uh give them some love yeah. Yeah? yeah so welcome to the show um like we promised we are going to be talking about something exciting and joining us for this conversation is dr matthew kagwisaje dr matthew is an uh, please uh, allow me Obste ob obstetrician <laughs> and gynecologist yeah. did i pronounce it right yeah yes. did. <laughs> he is a medical personnel with eight years experience in clinical patient care and a special focus on safe motherhood so you can already guess where this conversation is going right yeah welcome ladies you look fly you look fly with the big hair Oh, yeah. thank you very much. We might as well finish with that hair because it's going to be in the comment section. I, 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 I don't Frank, think so. Like, please. <laughs> She still has her sister locks inside there. there. Yeah, we know there. you're going to ask. That's the answer. So please don't ask. You have been answered. <laughs> All right, ladies. Um, we want to talk a bit about maternal health. And uh, I want to ask you, what informed your decision when you were selecting your gynecologist and the hospital where you had your babies? And were you satisfied with the services that were offered? I know for some of us it was eon years ago. <laughs> but please try and remember. <laughs> yeah. I tried to remember. Mm -hmm. I did. Yes. Um, just, over, just over 14 years ago. I remembered my decision at the time is I did not, I started with a hospital. Mm -hmm. I wanted a hospital that was peaceful, that was organized, that was clean, that did not remind me that it was a hospital. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I didn't want to get in with boda boda victims on the <laughs> entrance. I didn't want to walk upstairs and there are women who have, been, have failed to get beds yeah. and they are just there with their legs open, screaming in oh, pain. Yeah. I didn't want to hear. Sounds like a hospital. I didn't want to hear people screaming. Like, I, I just, I was so traumatized. So yeah. every month, you guys, of my pregnancy, I went to a different hospital, mm. a different hospital each and every month. But the problem was that the type of guy I wanted was in those hospitals. Yeah. That was the problem. <laughs> I wanted a seasoned professional guy, yeah. but in a modern environment. Yeah. Man, so imagine I picked my guy and hospital in the ninth month, oh dear. the ninth oh month dear. of my pregnancy mm -hmm. because that's when I found what I was looking for. Kwegamba, I wanted a guy of Mulago, but I did not, did not want to deliver in, in Mulago. Mulago. Yeah. 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 And finally, I did find that guy, and yes, I was so under hospital and I was so satisfied mm -hmm. with their services. Actually, so my other place was so modern. It had only, the maternity care place in the hospital had only been opened for four weeks at the time. Oh. But that guy in the doctor was totally seasoned. Like she used yeah. to work in all the traditional hospitals oh, yeah. Yeah, around. So I was okay. satisfied. Or oh, are we saying the hospitals that we went to? Mm. Maybe not. Yeah. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe hurry not. on, yeah. hurry on, <laughs> hurry on. Yeah. Um, so mine, I started the other way around. I started with a doctor. Okay. And I was really, I think I just wanted to be in good hands. Yeah. With, where, wherever he was going to go, I just wanted to be in good hands. Yeah. And so 
the, the problem wasn't the hospital now for us at this yeah. point. The problem was who's the guy? Yeah. Mm. Friends, the guy, the guy choices we had, mm. of all of them, the one I wanted was our friend. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> the one I would feel safe with. with. Who, for whom he would have to be careful. Yeah. You know those those decisions that you might make. I I knew that he would be a person that would look out for me, yeah. yes. would look out for the child. Yeah. So, of all of them, of course, it had to be our family friend. Yeah. Yeah. Now Brian is looking at me like, mm. <sighs> you. <laughs> he. Now we call him for birthday parties. Well, <laughs> yeah, and yet and he knows he your anatomy. <laughs> Manuela, does it have to be dog? I'm like, but Nangihani is the only one who I know when a decision has to be made. made. Yes. He, will he will pick me. Mm. He will pick life. Yeah. He will make, he will do everything, everything. in his power yeah. to make sure I'm fine. Mm. So, and in fact, I'm so glad that we chose him. Mm. Because indeed, a time mm. reached and a decision had to be, be made. made. Oh. And he made a decision in our favor. You know what okay. I mean? Yeah. So later, it's only later that Brian's like, yeah, it's, it's good, it's yeah. good. But as you can imagine, as the back days have gone forward, he's not yeah. been invited anymore. <laughs> but he's not the reason. He just sees me from further. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was like, hey, these days you don't invite us. They're like, yeah. 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 But yeah. it is well, God is good. <laughs> God is good. <laughs> Quite interesting because he's a pastor now. Mm. So I just and sometimes oh, he doesn't church, um, he doesn't practice. He does. He, he, does. Does. he still he does. does. But now there's an added layer of oh, his. Okay. You are pastor. So oh, when, yeah. when he's preaching, you're just like, but you know, you've seen you've seen me. And yet he doesn't even remember. And yet he doesn't even remember. Yeah. So then after that, we went to that hospital that he was yeah. in that mm. he felt would be would work for us so yeah yeah. yeah for both baby oh yeah he was the same for both okay. babies yeah. so i think pretty much like me my guy led me to the hospital Spito. i didn't mm. care at all mm. about which hospital it was as long as i had a good guy yeah. yeah so in the past with my first child i had been to a hospital that didn't treat me well that guy mm. was terrible mm. now i needed to find someone i didn't care about the hospital i just needed a, a specialist in yeah. this mm. so and thankfully it's the mom that recommended me so she had heard that i'd lost my first child in oh. that hospital mm. and when she saw me a customer someone a client mm. that i used to you know offer services to mm. so she's like oh my god it's so sad but i have a son my own son mm. is a guy oh. so take his mm. number Aww. And he's gonna, you know, he just trust him. Mm. He's great. Like all the recommendations yeah. we've given, he's great. Yeah. I know he's great. So I just give him a call because after that scenario, I had uh, another guy on the corner mm. who I had already set for a C-section. Okay. So this was the like former person, and then he was mm. there. So when I call this guy. You know, she didn't care because, I mean, you know, in the middle of the night is when my labor, my labor came. So I called her and she wasn't, she, she wasn't available. Mm -hmm. I decided, why don't I call this you guy? Mm. Yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, mom had given me, I had called him out, so he knew. Mm -hmm. Mom gave me your number a while ago, so can I come through? 3 a.m. in the morning. He's like, no, come over. Yeah. So I just went to that hospital where he was and he's been my guy for all the four oh, children. Wow. So he moved from that hospital yeah. to another one. I yeah. asked her to follow him. Wherever, Wherever yeah. you go, I go. Because <laughs> he's been the perfect one yeah. for me. Wow. Yeah, so that, that's, that's my so, story with my guy. That's so interesting. Um, so I think we, we live in an era where, um, so guys work with particular hospitals. Mm. And I think it, the guy usually informs the hospital that you will be you'll be at unless you don't care usually i think if you if you feel like you're in safe hands mm. then it doesn't matter where you give birth mm. i imagine for, 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 for like <laughs> i guess me I guess even not. you'd rather bring me here at golden tulip yeah. 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 As, yeah. as long as the doctor they fetch the, the oh, no, but yeah as long as the doctor is season i cannot go somewhere yeah. Yeah. The, the building looks great yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway bottom line is yeah like there's 
if within the hospitals <laughs> that your gyne operates, you can always find one that you're comfortable with. I guess so. so. Yeah. So, and I think that's really what happened in my practice. But I remember um, in choosing a gyne, I think it's a conversation I'd had with my mom. So my gyne, we went to church together. She mm. was fem She is female. And so she's the one who supported me during my pregnancy. And there was only a handful of hospitals that she operated mm. in. We eventually ended up at one. I wasn't too happy with the the services, especially the pain management, because I had a C-section, and my pain was not managed properly. Oh. Yes, and, and, and my pain and hydration, because there's a thing about C-section, <laughs> yeah, you have to keep I being yeah. hydrated because yeah. yeah. of the headaches. Yeah. Um, so those were not done very well, and I kind of made a decision, that hospital, I will not, not go, go back. back. Yeah. Yeah. Although I've been seasoned. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. She's very seasoned. Mm -hmm. Actually, right now she is so busy. Yeah. I, I know even in like my trying journey, I keep trying to get an appointment with her. Yeah. I've just gotten to a point where I'm like, you know what? Yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah. I think I've had that issue with um, many people who've gone to seasoned guides because that was yes. my issue. Yes. My reason for choosing a seasoned guy was mm -hmm. because in my mind, me, God had shown me uh -huh. that my birth was going to be vaginal. Vagino, yes. Mm. Okay. So you see these older seasoned guys, their mm. practice more yeah. is in vaginal births. Yeah. I have found many people who've gone through C-sections looking for those older guys yeah. have problems, especially with pain management. Yeah, yeah. Even the way they do the surgery, like the way the scar looks. Yes. You know, these yes. younger doctors, they have really good training yes. in these other yeah. forms, yeah. in, yeah, in, in yeah. C-sections. Yeah. So you see they manage like the pain well. They're yeah. Mm. Is so sweet, you know, the kabikini, so whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> I think maybe that's where there's a mismatch there. I think yeah. in Uganda, at least, yeah. yeah. Angie, 25 years ago, <laughs> six, seven, eight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to dust the cobwebs to get to the story, uh, to, the, to the meat of it. But, um, first of all, in my case, I've, I've never hidden the fact that I, I'm not comfortable with female. Guys, physical yes. interaction yeah. or touching or whatever <laughs> so for me first yeah, my guy has to be male male yeah, yeah. yeah there's nothing our mm. man is doing down there Interesting. <laughs> and that. guess what this was i knew this from the time i was having my first child really? Really? right from that time i was cognizant yeah. of the fact that i did not want to have a female yeah. gynecologist yeah why did i choose dr Biarhanga? My older sister had um, is a racist, racist, racist. A, pass, mm. oh, yeah. Oh, oh my God! Mm. So her I first had racist. No, 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 no. Yeah, like, oh, like, yeah me too. R no, R H E R U S. Racist. Let him say it for us. Racist. Racist. Yeah, racist. Yeah. So she, her first two children were very underweight. But we never put two and two together. So she has her first baby, mm. um, I think seven months pops out. Uh, next baby, eight months. The next baby, full term, still oh. dead. So it was, you know, a whole family thing. We're mm. all engaged and we're like, what the hell? Yes. So when she got married, when she got pregnant with her last baby, the, the most pretty, the sweetest human being that is alive today, is she could not go back to her gynecologist because the last baby she had she got mm. here and you know you shout at an older person like who told yes. you to get pregnant eh? okay. now we have to abort this one also you know that kind of mm. of feel mm. so she was super sure that the next time she got pregnant first of all it was accidental and she was sure she was going to abort this baby so she could not go back to her mm. guy because he told her never to get pregnant, pregnant again. again so oh, wow. she goes looking and and ends up with dr Biarhanga. This, oh, that is so sweet. He sits her down and tells her, you know what, mm. my journey, we are not going to get this baby out. We are going to travel this journey together. You are going to have this child. And you can imagine everybody was like, you know what, guys, let's get this baby out at three months, yeah. at two months. Let's do it now. He said, no, I'm a Christian and this is not going to happen. Okay. That man traveled that journey with my sister. Star. When you look at Jenny now, Jenny is the product of yes. Dr. Pierre. You're like, wow. So for yeah. me, there was no even question you or whatever. just knew. It had to be. If I had a choice, I would have loved to go to a hospital that looks like this. <laughs> I always, yes, I always have this thing. If I'm going to die, I want to die in a good place. Oh my God. Yeah, I want to have my just let me see the oh white light. God. Yeah. It reminds me of my wow. auntie who showers, just in case she passes away. You should, when I went to have shower, I'm telling you. Like, like, ah, let me go and bed now, now, now. In case. In case I die. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> You can't believe even going into theater and wow. telling you I had my lip gloss, I done my nails. Wow. I was like, you know what? If I'm going down, wow. I gotta look good. So 
yeah but that was the reason i chose wow okay so obviously we have so many reasons yeah uh but dr matthew what would you what would you say should be that list that women should have or mother expectant mothers should have mm. as they're choosing either their guy or their hospital or both yeah. Oh. Apart from lip gloss. Apart from yeah. lip gloss. Yeah, lip gloss and Dr. Ma Dr. Matthew is from uh, Mary Stops. Did yes. we mention that? No, we did, <laughs> did not. not. We did not. Oh, my bad. In intro. Yes. <laughs> he is from Mary Stops Hospital and they, you have a new, a new hospital? Yes. Yes. The uh, Mary Stops Hospital and uh, Maternity. Ah. Yes. Um, Where is it located? It's at uh, Forest Mall. Forest Mall. Oh. 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 Does it look like this? Yeah, yes. it does. <laughs> Surely you should come and tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you for, yeah. for the Some grandchildren. I've taken someone the there for their services. Oh, nice. yeah. And it's a really nice place. Okay. It's really nice. Mm. To cut them up so Pumla stamps. No, thank you. Oh, yeah, for other people. For looking aesthetic. Yeah, for the aesthetics, yeah. for sure. Oh, for I would sure. go there if I was pregnant again today. Yeah. Yeah. I would go to Mary Stokes. We receive in Jesus' okay. name. So <laughs> that's safe. Excuse me. <laughs> Manuela, take it back. I like this stuff in this I'm taking it back. I'm taking it back. I'm taking it Let's <laughs> not do that to you, Barbara. Thank you so much. But, <laughs> but Lord, thank you for hearing. But that's safe, Dr. Mm. <laughs> Please, what list should people have to prepare? Yes, to so, prepare. Um, first of all, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to come on this show. I've actually watched this family show over the have years. You now? Yeah, with my wife oh, and, uh, okay. and my older children. And older kids, yes. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So uh, I'm honored to be here. Thank um, you. Yeah, um, I work at uh, Mary Stops uh, Hospital and Maternity. Um, I can see from, from the discussion um, what women strive for is mm. uh, actually a positive experience. Um, experience. Yes. Mm. And which is offered in a respectful manner mm. so that actually she doesn't look at childbirth as something that's a horror mm. or something. Oh, I've, uh, yeah. I've shared many experiences with mothers uh, mm. like the experience you had. Um, yeah the loss of a child, mm. it's, uh, it's really horrifying and uh, probably most mothers would not want to go back to such a place. Yeah. Um, however, sometimes, um, okay, however, coming back to the question. However beautiful. However, <laughs> mm, coming back to the question, mm -hmm. there, is no, there is no set criteria um, or a list <coughs> that you have to check for that uh, this this hospital, hospital. this mm. guy is actually the person that I should go with. Mm. Uh, most times it is that assurance that I'm going to have a respectful, first of all, antenatal period, yes. um, the birthing process, mm. which is intrapartum, and also after the delivery. Because mm. it's a continuum of care. It doesn't just stop oh, when yes. you put the baby there. Mm, yeah. So I think... Uh, because I'm also a father, I'm a father of uh, uh, five beautiful children. Ah! However, <laughs> however young I might look. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, let me first share my experience. <laughs> Please. Um, yes. As a as an obstetrician yes. and gynecologist, my first child was delivered when I was still uh, a medical of officer, a general okay. doctor. Mm. I had a candid interaction with uh, many, with many, gains. many guys. Mm. Uh, but the one that I zeroed down on um, expressed confidence. Like mm. he was confident, yeah. and he was not. He was knowledgeable. Yeah. He was skilled. He was professional, and he he was flexible. Mm. Mm. In that, he gave me different options to uh, what to choose. So your guy can. Uh, dictate where probably you'll deliver from however in the background you should have that that uh, you should have uh, the the respectful and positive experience this mother is going to get yeah? Heart, yeah. yeah like he should choose you before anything else mm. before money yeah. before oh, yeah. he should choose you yeah. Yeah. so that uh, he can tell you confidently that there is Mary Stops Hospital, mm. there is uh, this other hospital and mm. the other. We could have time. I mm. could take you take there. you there. We okay. delve into issues of yeah. uh, safety, mm. um, diagnostics, 
uh, one of the criteria that I followed uh, was actually, is my wife going to deliver safely in this hospital? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there, is there a skilled team that is ready to respond to any complications yeah. if they occur? Uh, God willingly, for all the, the children, mm. she, she delivered well. Okay, mm. she had a vaginal delivery mm. and um, there was no complication. However, in terms of complications, we should be able to have that preparedness. Mm. And as a, as a, as a mother mm. uh, hoping to give birth in a, in a facility, your gain, your obstetrician actually, should be able to give you all this information readily. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So when it comes to the facility, <coughs> I think access is, is very good. Oh, yes. Access is a good factor. Oh, yes. If it's accessible, uh, Mary stops is just a strong yeah. 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 Where are we usually <laughs> yes. to yes. dance? Yes. Yes. In fact, if you've been at the club, <laughs> and then <laughs> back. Yeah, and accessibility. Wait, wait. Hey, at night, accessibility to the club, I don't know. <laughs> Accessibility to home, ah, yes. to your workplace, yes. to be able to attend your visits and all that mm. is good. Oh, yeah. The ambience of the place, um, the waiting area surely should be a place mm. that, mm. that uh, gives you comfort yeah. before you even see the, yeah. the, the doctor and all yeah. that. Um, I believe also the diagnostics because mm. pregnancy is a natural process. However, we have to investigate to see that everything is it's moving well. well. It's a physiological process. God made it natural that each mother should, uh, that a mother eh, giving, uh, carrying a pregnancy and all that, will go through some changes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So these changes have to be investigated so that your guy can confidently say that, ah, this is the natural mm -hmm. physiological process. This is actually maybe an infection or a complication that yeah. has arisen from the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. um, so this, this takes me to the, to the guy as well. Mm -hmm. Should be professional in a way that is skilled mm -hmm. to manage complications, mm -hmm. knowledgeable to be able to know that actually pregnancy is a natural process, mm -hmm. does its physiological changes, shouldn't treat everything. Eh? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't give drugs for, for everything. everything. Eh? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, there are some, oh, yeah. some more, uh, enthusiastic There doctors. are some enthusiastic people who want to pump, <laughs> pump, pump mothers with egg, drugs, drugs and all that. Yeah. 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 You need that person who can confidently tell you, let's, uh, let let's, 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 let's wait this out yeah. to pass. Yeah. Yeah. From an informed From point, an informed point. Yes. Okay. another thing is continuity of care beyond, beyond the working hours. Yeah. There should be the facility and the guy should have that allowance to have a mother access care even beyond. Mm. Mm? You, you talked about the, the call that you made to the gynecologist at 4 a.m. and was not available. Mm. Yeah. There has to be th that mechanism. Yeah. Even if you're not available, exactly. be able to uh, recommend help. somebody. Yes. Eh? Yes. 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 By the way, you see us, we are here shooting, but we're in Boom KK because any time now, <laughs> Dr. Can Matthew's phone can start, can ringing. start ringing. Yeah. Then we have to close. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, so, right. so, to, so, to, so to emphasize that even further, mm. Mm. Uh, to emphasize that further, um, uh, even the team, the yeah. team that the doctor works with, uh, you should actually be introduced to the team mm -hmm. so that it is uh, when you come to deliver you've come to in an environment of people who who know you, who know you. Yeah. Yes. Uh, people have been uh, mm -hmm. interacting yeah. with you yeah. we are we are yeah. very we are very happy that we offer antenatal classes mm. and uh, services yeah. at Maristops Hospital yeah. Uh, so by the time we come to deliver, mothers know mm. that ah, actually, mm. uh, I know this. Uh, I, I know, know this. This, uh, this, this uh, health worker. Mm. I know. I have a birth plan. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We actually encourage mothers to have a plan, so that even before you come to deliver, you know what is going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a plan for my pain yeah. management? Is mm. there a plan in yes. case of yeah. uh, this complication? If I'm to go for a C-section, uh, is it okay? Is it, okay? is it okay for learning is important? Yeah. Is it okay for bath, bath attendance yeah. in theater? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Is it okay to make up? 
Yeah. Before going to theater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's quite something. Mm. Yeah. So for the respectful maternity care, we always want somebody to come and deliver yeah. with dignity and mm. confidentiality so that. that we, so that you go through the process and it is not one that is uh, smeared with fear, anxiety, yeah, anxiety. Yeah. I was going to die, yes, things like that. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So probably I've not pointed out exactly, but I think we have picked out no, uh, what we can. Ladies, with your hospitals of choice, were there policies on who should be in the labor ward or the delivery room? And he was, you know, pointing yeah. to that. Yeah. <laughs> Which plan did you have? Did you want your husbands there? Who was your preferred person of choice to, you know, be with at the labor ward? Or did they even in accept? The ward. Absolutely, everyone was. There. Everyone. <laughs> yes. Everyone. Wow. Everyone. My daddy. My my hubby. Yeah. My mom. Yeah. My sisters. Everyone. My brother. Uh, they just kept in that the room. In yeah. that room. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. At that point. What, what did you have again? I had a C-section, C-section. but I was in yeah, I was in labor for twenty-seven hours. So, so even during uh, the labor, time, everybody was there. Yes. So they just take turns. What? Oh. What? But the husband was in between the legs. You understand? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then, then the mom can grab oh the Lord, the <laughs> but yeah, I had everybody. That 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 is what happened. Uh, with hindsight, <clears throat> yeah. I I I I now I'm one of those people who wouldn't want to have my spouse near oh, yeah, when I'm when, when you have my baby because at that moment I think it's so important for a woman to concentrate. So with Asante, I think I had an easier birth because I was on my own. I did not have people, you know, yeah. in my space yeah, or anything. Space. I mean, I loved the whole experience and the circus, but <clears throat> at that moment, I think it's so important to close out everybody yeah. and just That's concentrate focused. on this. It's like going to the toilet and then they're playing music and, you know, nothing comes. Yeah, you know, yeah. people thoughts, are actually uh, different. There are people who, are like, I don't understand people who go to the loo and have gone with magazines and stuff. Okay. I feel like it's a time to concentrate and remove on whatever is. Ah. Yeah. 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 yeah, I need Just like all my faculties. Some people need stimulation. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I can't. Yeah, so I, can. can. I am the book toilet person. Are but you? When it comes to. It, if it's something serious, I don't want noise. Yeah, and let's just concentrate focus. on that, that, that one. Yeah. So, so that your audience changed with each with pregnancy? The, yes. With each pregnancy, yes. it was different. Literally, with mm. each pregnancy, I kept reducing. Fewer yeah. people. Yeah. 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 By yeah. the time yeah. I was with Asante, <laughs> they yeah. came yeah. after. I said, I want to do this alone. Uh, yeah. 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 And I like that you've hinted that, that concentration. For yeah. me, right from the start, I really don't want noise. I will call my mom and she will be right with me in hospital. She, she was the only person I was most comfortable with in hospital. Mm. My husband will be there, but I don't want him in that room, yeah. Yeah. especially yeah. at the time of, yeah. after you're dilated. I don't yeah. want anybody there. If anything, my mom should even be out because oh. then that's time you need concentration like you don't want anyone hey. telling you guma guma you <laughs> like me there in the first place you like me that room is the first place anywho it's a bit like you you have gone to war i honestly don't want any friends come Nothing. after i'm giving you news yes the baby's yeah. outcome i don't want you there telling me all sorts of things it's okay do it from where you are i appreciate you I just really don't want that congestion yeah. at yeah. that time because yeah. I so feel like true. I need yeah. There's, there's, a, time the we, there's a time we are just the prayed. Wow. There's a time we are just prayed with her, mm. you know, getting her ready for mm. giving birth. What what mm. what? We had not reached home, mm. and she called. I said, "Oh, by the way, mm. I've given Maybe birth." Yeah. Yeah. We're like, we're with you today. Yeah. I'm telling you, it was like during that day, yeah. and by the time we got home. <laughs> telling us messages Baby's but here. she was feeling the pains when, when, when her, you're she didn't say anything i think because she knew these ones they'll they be there they 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 <laughs> then <laughs> i'll give birth and that's exactly what she did yeah. went to hospital we we're just reaching yeah. babies yeah. 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 yeah uh for me <laughs> brian just comes yeah 
there is no asking because in his mind yeah i love that you baked the baby but this is also my baby mm -hmm. of course so he's in the room mm -hmm. however i wish he was in the room to hold me to okay what was it to, oh, no 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 to encourage you wow wow hey, hey doctor <laughs> Hey. Hey, 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 doctor. He's talking with a doctor. Does he? So, what are those? Hey, that's the uterus. Are you wow, serious? me on the other side, behind, alone, nobody to hold me. Then the baby comes out. Ha, this is a big oh, baby. Yes. Yes. Oh, boy. So, first of all, Brian didn't. Oh. When, when, I, when I started labor, he told me, don't call your mom, leave her to rest. Oh. Let's go through the labor. So, I went through labor. When I entered active labor, that's when he called my mom. Mm. So when she came, my family didn't come alone. So that's when she, the Chikos came. By the time the Chikos came, they were like, oh, she's now in active labor. But in the room itself, like in the bathing room, uh, of course, mine, I started with labor. My mom took on the active labor after, uh, yeah. and then the, a decision had to made, be made for me to have a C-section. So at the point of the C-section, yeah. it was so dramatic there was somebody at every point of my of the journey brian was in the room my mother was outside the room waiting for the baby someone was talking to the doctor of inside the, the nurses of inside yeah. icu so, so that they see the bed where the baby is yeah. so that they can it can the baby cannot be stolen i was like when i get that drama they'll exchange babies what i'm like my god but my yeah. family just likes work G generally yeah. they are ever busy 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 people so anyway <laughs> brian comes into the room and i'm thinking you know we're going to have this experience when the baby comes and we're holding hands on yes. our life no he was on the phone on the phone recording just talking with a doctor wow 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 hey this process is not easy mm -hmm. uh, so where did you study from what i'm like Imagine. hey doctor have you removed are those her intestines I'm like, Wow. So, Manuela, um, in regards to police, is it that it was just one person accepted? Yes, yeah, what, only yeah. one person was allowed oh, into in the, the room. Theater. Yes, into the theater. So, everyone was around, but everyone was, was only uh, one person Everyone was positioned in different places ah. inside the room, in the bathroom where I would be talking to them. Everybody was somewhere. But the policy was there had to be only one person mm -hmm. in the room. And Brian, yeah. there was no question. It was it Brian. It had to be Brian. Yeah, to be Brian. doing other things other than, yeah. other than, <laughs> other than <laughs> supporting <laughs> you. Meanwhile, you. meanwhile, I asked him, where are the videos? He's like, ha. Oh, ha. I said, you mean I missed that moment with you? Yeah. For a video that does not exist? exist. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, I, know, you know, I had a recorder in the room as well. Yes, you did. Yeah. You still have that footage? I have all footage. Okay. With me, I have my footage. Nice. My sister, my, my younger sister, Nalule. So in the policy of the hospital was one person. Yeah. But I think they saw, I was really anxious, guys. Like, I was so afraid of the whole experience of childbirth, so afraid of the unknown, that I think it was just written all over my face. And the doctors there, the guys, everybody was, their nurses, they were so kind. Everyone was trying their best. Imagine there was even a lady who was pregnant much older, and she was also, like, coming me down. I said, it's okay. Don't worry. So I think they saw that I, I needed to be relaxed. Yeah. So they said, it's fine let her be with who she needs to be with mm. so i was able to be there with the three people that i really wanted to be in with me which was my mom my son's father and my sister, sister. but my sister she, because my sister was young yeah. so what the, that they were telling my younger sister was that okay we could let you in but you're so young i think she was on campus at the time mm. my sisters were in school you know and they're like no but actually we just wanted to take a recording a mm. video of the whole thing but they are told her okay you take your video but because you know this is a vaginal bath yeah. take it from the back we still that that luxury of c-sections of oh. viewing everywhere it does not exist they yeah. don't let you put anything at the front of your legs mm. so they'll tell her you take her the back so she just went to the back of the door yeah. at the extreme back and and took that footage oh. so she, everybody was there but I felt in that moment, me, I wanted my husband there. Yeah. That's the one I thought about. But as the time was closing in, you know, there was a vulnerability that just overtook me. Mm. I turned into a child. Mm. I wanted my mom. Mm. I think in all of my life, that is the first time, or maybe You've second needed, in the world, right? yes. that I wanted, I needed you need, my yeah. mom. And I was not afraid to say it, I needed my mom. And yeah. my mom was... 
You know, when you talk about a doctor who puts your best interests at heart, yeah. my mom did not even think about the child that was coming. Mm. My mother was my mother. Wow. Oh, that's nice. She did yeah. it. I didn't have to say anything. I didn't have to do anything. Mm. My mom was in the room here. She, you could think she was the doctor. Yeah. Mm. Telling wow. these guys what to do. My, this is happening. This is happening. Even when my child came, my mom didn't look at my, 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 my son, her grandchild. She was with me. Yeah. She saw, they called her and said, come and see the, the, count, the, the, the feet. The muzukuru. the muzukuru has come, has arrived. <laughs> you know? She's on you. is my daughter. Okay. Please ask me where the son's father was. Where? Yeah. He started within. <laughs> I only realized later when uh, the baby was suckling <laughs> that he was not there. <laughs> you know what they told me? Yeah. That there was a point when it became too much for him. He ran out of the room and oh, he was Jesus. just shedding. Yeah, yeah. That experience, it was so overwhelming for yeah. him. What was happening to this yeah. person that he loves. Yeah. And he just, he just snapped, got out of it. Yeah. And he just went out. So now they are telling me in retrospect later, Munage, mm. hmm, Teja's yeah. father. <laughs> We were here with him, now we were all patients. Yeah. All of us this side, yeah. We were just now nursing the patient. We, and I don't even remember who was there because I remember when I made the phone call because I, I went into labor at 7 a.m. in the morning. Mm. I reached the hospital maybe by 7.30. But it was, my mom was, we called her on the way. So it was just the three of us for a while. Then my sister came. My sister was living with my parents. So she came with my mom. But I don't, by the time I, the labor was so short, I was done by midday. You know, I started acting by yeah. 8 a.m. I know, right? By midday, my child was in my arms. In the same morning. Yeah. So by the time everybody comes later, it's later. Me, I've even overslept. I've woken yeah. up. I'm okay. But at that time, I think in my mind, I was saying, you're the one who put me in this position, you man. <laughs> you had better be here. Really? But no, no, no. when that final minute came, came. Like, I want my there. mother. <laughs> not, not only was he not there, but I did not need him. You didn't need I him. I didn't think about yeah. I didn't think about him at all. It's later when the baby was suckling. Yeah. Mm. But I asked, where is the the person who gave me this thing, where is he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And and you could see he was like really Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, I mean, I, unlike you ladies, I never experienced labor at all. Oh, at all? At ah. all, yeah. I checked into the hospital when I was about 41 weeks, and I, they were trying to soften my cervix. There's that oh. uh, tab that they push inside yes. your... Mm. Um, and it didn't work for the first day, what? and then the second day it didn't work either. So when my guy came to check on me in the, in the evening, we made a decision to go through with C-section. Mm. Okay. Um, at that time, it didn't really matter who I was with, who I wasn't with. I was yeah. just tired, tired, to be honest. I wanted the baby out. out. I was heavy, you guys. I was heavy. I was like, <laughs> I was like an elephant. Yeah. <laughs> yes, um, we saw pictures. You saw pictures, yes. <laughs> so I remember, yes, the hospital I had my baby at allowed one person, but I had my child after 11 p.m. It was one of those things. I felt like in the work day, the doctors were mm. like tired and... This is like the final thing, and they had to sort of put it together. Because I think ideally, when you're planning for a C-section, mm -hmm. they would know earlier in the day. Yeah. yeah. This decision was made at like 7, 8 p.m. Mm. So they had to now like call the anest what? Anesthesiologist. Anesthesiologist, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Over here, had left the hospital. They had to call like put a team together. Mm. So I wasn't really thinking, oh, is Ben going to be there with me? I think all I cared about at that time is Ben can't do a C-section. Do I have a good team? Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so and what I want is the baby out. So let me be in with the specialists. When I have my baby, then we can. And he was outside the door. He didn't, they didn't allow him in, I remember. I think because, I don't remember what the reason was. Maybe it's because they were in a hurry, they were in a rush. By the time we thought about it, mm. it, was, it was too late. They had already been injected in my back. And mm. so mm. we just said, you know, let's go through the process. But I didn't really, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Yeah, yeah, at that time. I was tired and... Mike needed to be yeah, out. That's an interesting way to see it. Mm -hmm. Dr. Matthew, to think that it doesn't matter for some, <laughs> for some and then for some it matters. matters and yeah. then as a hospital, mm. you have certain, Policies. you know, yeah. certain things matter. Would you share what at Mary stops? Especially at the new aesthetic hospital. <laughs> are your policies, are we allowed to come with all of our relatives? Uh, are we allowed to film the front of the vaginal But Like, what is it? I think mean, you should ask the doctor. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what are the policies so, like? Um, 
Thank you for the question mm -hmm. and uh, sharing. Yeah, experiences. Actually, his experience is a, a very, very, uh, I don't know how to, they are hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Child love <laughs> can be hilarious. <laughs> Can be and, first of, and first of all, congratulate yeah. you from looking this uh, what uh, looking this way mm. and from. You said you are actually an elephant. I felt yeah. like, like an way. elephant, but that was a while back. Yes, yes. Was it, was big, it was big. Yes. <laughs> Micah, Micah was four point three kgs. Oh my god! Okay. Yeah, that's what forty one. He was huge. Yes. Mm. He was huge. <laughs> surely, <laughs> he was surely huge. it had to be a cesarean. Yes, it, it had to be. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> the the policy at Mary Stops doesn't. Uh, doesn't deviate much from uh, from that of many other hospitals. Mm. Um, we we have a a rights based um, patient care approach. So we listen to our patients okay. a lot, uh, especially what they want to they want the experience to be like. If a patient would want, okay, we we recommend one attendant for 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 reasons of uh, decision making and mm. also support during that That's process. Yeah. Because sometimes when there is when there are yeah. too many people mm. it is it so becomes too crowded. Yeah. Mm? Yeah. It comes too crowded. Yeah. Um, I know we we at uh, the hospital we we manage labor and birth and also the the postnatal period um, in a closed environment. Uh, mm. There is a bathing suit for for each mother, mm. independent, self-contained. Okay. Uh, we have a room for them. So actually, you could have more than one attendant. Mm. Um, we have actually let some patients have more than one. However, the recommended is one attendant mm. to offer support. Mm. And this is somebody that has to be chosen by the mother. Yeah. Yes. So uh, when you shared your experience hey, with Brian, it's <laughs> like Brian, hmm? you people. <laughs> it has to be the mother to 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 so be true. empowered yeah. to make that decision, decision. that uh, actually, I want my mom to be around. I don't want my husband to be around. Mm. I don't want any filming to be done. Yes. Uh, something like that. Yeah. It actually impacts later, even yeah. uh, if you've had a good experience. Uh, issues of like uh, post delivery care and what mm. you'll be able to come for those services like mm. let's say oh. your your reviews at at a week's time your reviews mm. at six weeks six months you'll be very happy to come back and yeah, yeah. do those things mm. um, another thing that I actually want to emphasize is the the dignity the dignity mm. that comes with uh, delivering so if having a camera in the labor suit is going to make you uncomfortable, uncomfortable. as a mother yeah. uh, us as the hospital will not encourage it okay. um, but all these things are brought in even before before the the labor the process labor and all that i talked yeah. about the birth plan yeah. something actually very important mm -hmm. if you came to deliver at mary stops mm -hmm. you would not you not actually deliver without a birth plan mm -hmm. yeah and we emphasize that all the the obstetricians, the midwives, mm. actually the midwives, they're the custodians of the, the whole process of taking care of yeah. the mothers mm. and all that. So we empower them and we encourage them to have the mothers fill out birth plans because it does all those things. Yeah. Um, if you would want uh, <laughs> the, the extent of, <coughs> of privacy and confidentiality you'd want mm. in yeah. the labor suit, your, your birth attendant, uh, the mode of uh, delivery you prefer. Yes. Mm? Mm. Uh, we we prefer the vaginal delivery because mm. it is it is the natural way of it's doing things. Mm. However, at any point before a procedure is done, prior to that, we explain to you why we are doing this, mm. yeah. and uh, also to your attendant because the supportive care and this and the guidance through the labor process is best done by people you're familiar with. Mm. Correct. So if you want your mother there, she has surely delivered before. Mm. She delivered you. At least, yes. <laughs> so she can guide you. <laughs> yes. At any point, like she, like she shared, yeah. he, can, he can choose to opt out. Like he can become so overwhelming <laughs> and the person actually opts out. Right. Yeah. Subtract yeah. himself. I actually, However, oh, sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. Carry However, on. like I said, we focus on what the mother needs because we want her to go through this process. Mm in the best way possible. So if she wants her husband there, he, 
he would he would be there and also as the the, the team on board would encourage him to actually be supportive yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but let me ask, ask, let me ask hold, doctor hold, hold, hold. you know this birth plan no one prepares you for what that birth is. Is. is and so you write this nice really cute birth plan let me tell you friends i imagine that i would I would have like, I would be kawa, you know those things. I was like, I didn't want that bathrobe with a gap at the back. And they were like, Mukwano, you'll need it. Dears, during labor, I was the one removing that dress. <laughs> like, remove, it's too it's hot. Too hot. You know, now, I can imagine, I've written that I want my, yes. my husband there, or I want my mother, and then you get there in the real pain, mm -hmm. and you're like, where is the one who put me in this place? Come here, stand here. It's and lovely. yet he wasn't in your plan, yeah. that plan. So what happens when... Me as a mother, yeah. my birth plan changes based on my actual situation. Yeah. My sister-in-law called for me. I was not in her birth plan. Mm -hmm. But when I came during that day, we had a good, uh, you know, good process. So when she was going, but where is this Manuela? Where did she go? Me, I was there taking myself out. So I had to come back and be near. She didn't need me in the room. Mm -hmm. But like, where is this? Yeah, the one who, are, who was here. So what happens? In, in, so, cases, so generally, in cases like um, that, <coughs> cases like that, you know, you know, a, a birth plan is like is like a blueprint on how you you would want Envision. to get there. Yeah. yeah. However, if you've constructed a house before, <laughs> yeah. projects change. change. Yeah. That's Things, true. Uh, you reach a point and you're like, ah, I planned for this to happen, but mm. it's not feasible. It's okay. not working. Okay. Mm? So let me bring on board this person. Okay. Yeah. So. It is just something that will guide us. Uh, it makes work easier when you have actually, you have actually already planned mm. to have something done, especially in aspects of uh, who is going to be around, yeah. who is mm. going to, how, how is the pain going to be managed, yeah. how will we monitor this labor process, probably which, how many midwives will be available, um, yeah, and which medications, probably the emergency mm. medications that mm. will need, be needed for this process to move on well. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think father, um, husbands are great when decision making. They are perfect for to be around for decision making. Yeah. Mm. I do know that there are women um, who we were talking earlier and saying how you know birthing is such a messy yeah, experience. Messy. Yeah. Um, and I know that when we get married and or you're with your partner, that they have seen you in your in your worst. But there's something unique <laughs> about, <laughs> about birth, yeah, like yeah. giving birth, yeah, that I feel like some women are like, you know what, I want to reserve something. Like, I don't want, to, I don't want my husband to see me, that, that, that level of vulnerability, yeah, is so, what's the word you like to use, so primal, like, oh my gosh, yeah, like it's so, and some women are just like, you know what, I, I still want you to remember me in a certain <laughs> glory, so... You be outside, make decisions uh, when the baby's ready. And then, of course, what Rosette said, where it's like, they can say the wrong things that will tick you off. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. just, they are perfect yeah. for decision making yeah. and, and paying the bills. Maybe to, maybe to just add <laughs> something that small to that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's, uh, l l l there's, there's something she, she talked about uh, mm -hmm. that he emphasized that Actually, you're not the one who is. Uh, it's, you're not not, you're, it's, it's, it's not it's just not your you child. Baking, yeah. baking the baby. It's, it's not your child child. alone. It's yeah. our child. Yeah. So I believe before, before the 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 labor process happens and all that, you can you can sit down with as a couple and decide and you decide yeah. on these things because yeah. um, some some couples have gone into conflict because of this. Yeah. 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 Like, like you, you managed the, the situation alone, you dictated everything, mm. and something bad has happened. Oh. It's something like that. Okay. Eh? Yeah, okay. so you, okay. they keep putting that blame to yeah. that. Eh? It's important and especially, to have a discussion. Especially in, in our society where mm. men surely call the shots, he's probably the one going to be paying the bills. Yeah. He also needs to have that. But can he handle? Yeah. Is the question. Now he's not supposed to decide he's if he can. He's the one to decide. He's his own person. Mm. Yes. You can sure. make that decision mm. to him. But as you a mom, can't. you can also emphasize that. Ah, uh, because he said darling, that the mom. I, I might not. I may not be comfortable with you being there because of A, B, C, and yeah. D. Yeah. You try to have him to understand it to that yeah. level. Yeah. yeah. Because okay. it's good. First of all, you're a male 
of um, gynecologists. Mm -hmm. um, and what I do know is that um, during lovemaking, people imprint onto each other. And, and men are very visual human beings. Um, I have heard of people who, after going through that experience, just can never find you attractive. You know, is it something that we should... Because you see, we are picking up all these Western notions. May I always go primal? When an animal is going to have birth, it goes in its quiet place. We, we have evolved by the end of the day when it comes to the actual pushing. We push like dogs or any other animal. So do, do, you, do you educate people on, on, yes, it's lovely for your husband to be there, but the after effects of that experience? if they are not brave enough and run out before the things just say, wow, wow. Yeah, it depends. Wow. Yeah, for some men, they will continue. They will continue, but are they educating people to understand mm. that it's not just it's this. After this, there's a they're possibility. going home and you're looking at this person and they look like a cow. <laughs> that has been, you know. But uh, with my experience um, in the labor suits, uh, mm -hmm. when the husbands are around, um, for example, in the in the delivery suite, mm. you would be at the like the at, the, the, yeah. at the head of yeah. the mother, yeah. Yeah. having yeah. supporting yeah. her, yeah. rubbing. They are not at the. Front. They are not actually. C-section. However, however, also at C-section, we encourage <laughs> the because there is like the, some kind of curtain. curtain. Yeah. Yeah. Where you could you could be on the other side. You cannot give Mr. Mulonde a boundary, unfortunately. <laughs> so. Yes, he yeah. found his way. Yeah. So, um, if if actually someone is prepared yeah, to yeah. to go through all that, you can do it. But we don't encourage it. We, okay. we encourage you to be with your wife, mm. probably. I'm holding you're her holding hand. hands. Not you're talking to her, yeah, encouraging her. Back. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Her and you keeping quiet. Yes, you need to have a meeting quiet. with my husband. So yeah. actually, I think. It's <laughs> It's, a, it's, an, it's an area where we could actually do more research on sure. medical okay. research and we okay. get to know the, the father's experiences. Yeah, yeah. On, the uh, labor suit. Especially oh. in a society like Uganda. I yeah. believe it has already, it has, it has ever been done somewhere. Yeah, yeah. we'll check. We'll so check. the next we'll time check. I'm hosted, I'll... Yes. You'll share some statistics. Eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've spoken okay. now about the prenatal, we've talk, spoken about during the natal. Now let's speak about the... Post. After the fact, postnatal. Mm. So there is a tradition. I'm not sure if it's an African tradition, but there is a tradition, at least I know within Africa, mm. where um, new mothers go to back to their parents' home to recover right after they've given mm. birth Remember, from yeah. the hospital. Mm. So I just wanted us to talk about where did you go after straight after you were discharged from the hospital, mm. and what informed that decision. Oh, most certainly to my parents' place. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Why? Um, I think the why really was... Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, my husband, I love you, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, I, I, I think I wasn't feeling... Mm -hmm. So first of all, I knew I needed um, a little extra support because I'd had a C-section. Uh, where we were staying, uh, it was an apartment building, there were stairs, and I didn't want to have to struggle with the movement. I had been to my parents' place prior because I'd been put on bed rest. So when I had my child, it only seemed natural that I go to my parents' place for that extra support. This is first grandchild in the family. Uh, my mom was very eager to help. She'd been extra, extra supportive in the hospital. And I just wanted a bit of that some more, just to learn the ropes of, you know, ha handling a a little baby, the bathing. I think I bathed Micah on like the third day or fourth day. I still had an incision. And mm. remember, my pain wasn't really managed well. So I was feeling pain even like five, six days after, after my C-section. Mm. So yeah, going home to my parents' place seemed like the logical decision mm. because of the support that I needed. I did, okay, so I... <laughs> Not that I had no confidence in my husband, but I was like, let me, let me, let me learn, then I will come and teach you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That, that was the thinking. From the one who has done it before. For exactly, yeah. yes. Yeah. From the one who has yeah. done it before. Yeah. Like she would, like yeah. she would remember, because my mom, uh. <laughs> when we took the baby, the whole time she would be shocked. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Hey! Now you do this. So how do they 
pay this one. Shares. I don't want to say she has forgotten. It's so funny. Yeah. I just feel like she yeah. thinks she felt things change. Remember when they brought her the baby, like after they made the baby from the hospital. See, she has a daughter. Why are the eyes open already? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, your mom was so strange. So for her, I feel wow. like Black came Chocolate like as a day. wow. Okay. The children of this day, uh, yeah. hey, this yeah, is how they do. Yeah. Wow, like that's how the whole time she was. So even oh, if man. I went to her for help, we were just clueless together. Get together. <laughs> yeah. Which was. It was fun, I think, in so many ways because mm, so we. I felt like it was so nice to have someone that I didn't have to disagree with. Yeah. yeah. Because she was also like, yeah, yeah, yeah okay, okay. Hey, let's do let's today. Do it. Uh huh. So you put the baby in a bed outside of you. Hey, okay. <laughs> For the children of these days. Uh -huh. You the 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 pump, pump, the pump, the pump the Ah -huh. The hit in the mm, 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 mm. that uh, kaka milk cards, it has come mm. <laughs> when I was wrong. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we put the milk in, ah. in the fridge. Carry. Fridge in the freeze. Uh -huh. Freeze, freeze. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. okay. Let's put in the fridge. Mm, mm. Never the milk has frozen. Yeah. And now it will taste nice after. Let me warm. Mm -hmm. Okay. As in, she was in a science experiment. <laughs> she enjoyed the experiment. We enjoyed Enjoy. the experiment together. together. Mm. She had never seen us gone through a c-section process okay, yeah, so also that was, was new yeah, for her yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so in many ways i feel like she got so many challenges but also had so many um joys about it yeah. now in terms of the decision to mm. go home you know, but the truth is i just went because we just went because it's what people do it's what people do mm. like it was never a mm. thought mm. but i'm so glad i did because i feel like that was the only time my mom had full access to her mm. grandchildren that's a, like the first six weeks of her time. And my mom is prayerful. Yeah. So the beginning umbilical cord, prayed Praise over yeah. it. Every first, Gobatia, prayed, prayed, banange. We were constantly in prayer. in prayer. And I feel like those six weeks have so many firsts. Mm. that are such a great opportunity spiritually for those mm. of us who are in that in that line mm. spiritually for you to be able to pray blessings over your child so she had complete access as she showered he might cover you in the blood of, i shower you in the blood where, where, eh, banane. she really so for mm. me that was what that process did for mm. me mm. that it allowed her complete access yeah. to this child and to connect with him mm -hmm. in ways that I might not have been um, able, able to, to. So yeah, I think I remember that being the first time I felt like a baby under yeah. the cares of my mother. Yeah. Like she's taking very good care of you because mm. you need that extra care as a new mother and then taking care of the baby. Like you just wake up eat they carry the baby bring the baby just for you to breastfeed then you rest like no you've been through a lot all those nine months rest i enjoyed it i really enjoyed the care that she gave me at that time and there was no question about it i mean my husband would be those ends bambi like really anxious calling in all that time oh my god after those first I, and i spent long i think i was there for about three months and i remember when we came back banage he had organized set balloons i'd never seen such <laughs> excitement in his life yeah receiving his first son but i also think that um it's very ideal for us to go to our parents because they know best <coughs> they are more aware and i remember many times she would she would look at the baby and and be like oh i he can see and i feel like duh he's supposed to see not duh there are children who don't, don't see. see and these old women yes no, that is it yeah. so he can, oh yes i can see that no, yeah true. because there you are with a blind child and you have no idea and then she'd go like oh he can hear he can hear me he turned because you can have a child who could go deaf and you're you're not experienced you couldn't tell if you you know you had gone to be with your husband like a child can really go and they have these deformalities and you have no clue so because they have better experience they help to you know check out those issues here and there so for me, uh, there's always no question, but of course, after the second child, the third, really, I had to go to my husband. <laughs> now I'm, I'm the one who is like, yes, he can see. <laughs> yeah. I, 
I was told, yeah. So for me, I feel like, yeah. Yeah. For my boys, I went home. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I that. went home. Like the boys, I don't think I ever bathed any of my sons before they were nine months. I had so Dear. much help. Yeah, for how long were, would you be? Remember, first I'm just year, asking. No, I was still in school also. Oh, yeah, for all of you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so with the boys, I definitely went home and I got a lot of support, not from my mom, but from my dad. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, yes. My yes, dad, dad was, yes. was like 150%. And then, um, like OJ, every single day he would come home. Yeah. But when he came once mm -hmm. again to Asante, um, there were things that I did different because um, I'm the type of person who needs something to happen for me to flip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with Asante, I asked my, uh, <clears throat> my house helps who I'd had for over 10 plus years, I gave all of them leave. I said, I'm coming home and I'm going to do this on my own. And, and it's great for you to go um, or stay with your parents, but with time you realize there's a certain disconnect that happens during those <coughs> six, three months. Yeah. You see, when you yourself, after those six weeks, you don't really want to go back. Mm. I've had people say that. To go to their husband's house, they, yeah, they've been enjoying uh, being treated Fernandez. like a there's child. A way, you know, you wake up, everything is happening at home. As you said, there are no arguments, there's no nothing. Nobody's coming late or hasn't picked yeah. up the baby, or hasn't changed the diaper. So mm -hmm. home is different. But now when you go back to this space where it's just the two of you, then th those first couple of weeks of, you could call it friction, have a way that build up to togetherness. Mm -hmm. So, and you notice, you the right way. of course, we, 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 when all circumstances are fair. Because, um, I mean, he would come every evening and, of course, hold his sons and everything. But the difference with Asante is that it would be the whole night. Or when she would wake up, he's always the one who would carry and, you know, they sit in the nursing. There's a certain connection, which I think as moms, it's, it's great that we want to be with our family. But sometimes we take away from, from our spouses that opportunity to bond. And I know Asante is a girl, so there is a, a greater bond. But I feel that with the children, the ones who spend more time with uh, whichever spouse, there's a certain connection that, yeah. 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 You and my experience is a testimony to that. Clearly, I'm the only one who went straight from the hospital back to home. my home. home. Yeah. yeah, my yeah. parents' home is not my home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I went back to, I went to my home. Did you have someone I went, taking care of not you? At not at all. Actually, oh. that is the time in my life I didn't even have help. Oh a maid, God. or there was the father and me and Trey Gateja. Oh, wow. But I'm not the one who informed the decision, it was my mother. Oh, and my mother said down. exactly what Angie has said. Okay. She said, Pumla, the father of this child needs to start bonding now. Yeah. Yeah. You've had nine months. Yeah. So for you, that child is your baby. That is your baby. You think it's your baby. But now it's time to share. Yeah. It's time to share. Yeah. If you bring your, 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 the father of your child needs to be part and parcel of the full raising process. Yeah. Actually, let me tell you, even the one of the labor ward, yeah. it's my mom who asked me, I hope your husband is going to be in the delivery room with yeah, us, that he has to be there from you, the time you're having labor contractions yeah. to the time when the baby comes to the time when you're nursing that baby to the full experience of the child. That's when their bonding starts. Yeah. Otherwise, there comes a disconnect. And she said, let me explain to you why. So I come from a culture in Buganda where we speak about buko. Yes, yes, yes. And my mom at that time was really practicing, like a practicing Muganda, oh, where, yeah. let me just explain for you who don't understand Buko, is where the, the, my husband is not allowed to be fully in the presence oh, yeah, yeah. of his mother-in-law. Yeah. In Buganda, it's a thing in Buganda. Yes, I don't know in what other cultures it is. Oh, so when they come home, my mother behaves a certain way. She's not allowed to quit her, not her. To She can't move, move. She's not allowed to hold his hand. She's not allowed to, you know, even that thing of passing over the baby. You can't pass over a baby. Yeah. To, you know, there is, there is a certain yeah. boundary yeah. that is set by the culture. Yeah. Yeah. So my mom is saying, now you want me, the old woman, to break myself, to break the culture. And yet your husband can be at home with a baby. Yeah. Actually, she just, what she really told me was that now he's going to come. And yes, he might come every day. But be honest, would you think he would be happier doing that visiting in our home 
or he would be happier at home with his child. My father, my mom actually always told me parents should never be visitors in their children's lives. Sure. They should never be seen as the visitor. Everybody else is the one that should be a visitor. So when you go home, who will visit? And, and I saw my mom doing that timing of she would call me, well knowing that the son's father is not there. So she can do everything. And you see what happened in the hospital. So let me tell you, when my mom told me eventually that, actually she told me before I went birth plan. We had a birth plan. So she already told me before, you're not coming home. So we had decided, you know, when you have a vaginal birth and everything goes well, you give birth today, you're discharged tomorrow. Yeah. In our time, yeah. these days I see people still stay in hospital. For I don't know for what. Please, I asked, because I was on insurance, my mom told me, Pumla, I hope you're seeing everything we are doing together. And because I was vaginal, I didn't have a tear. Mm. From when the baby came, me and my mom in the hospital, when the nurses would come to bed, no, you will not be here when this girl is at home bathing her baby. Yeah. You will not be there when she's bapping her baby alone. She has no help, mm. and I won't be there. Mm. I don't want her to get into postpartum depression. True. Let her go when she's armed. We did everything, and then guess what? The day for me to be discharged came, and she, my mom asked me, are you ready to be discharged? I called my insurance. I told them, I need an extra night <laughs> because I'm not ready to go home. Yeah. I can't go home. They're going to leave me alone mm. with my baby. Mm. And they gave me an extra night. Mm. I stayed an extra night and an extra day doing practice. Now we were there, all of us, babe, and us would come in. My mom would wake up. No, 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 no. Let her do it. It's yeah. okay. Let, let's do it. If you have a problem, you tell me what the problem is. And by the time I left, I was in hospital for three days. By the time I left, I was a mom. Oh, I was a pro. I, was a I did mom. everything myself. Yeah. I didn't need any. And my mom would come. There was no point. And when my mom would come, she would come real time. I want by the time Omuami comes, we are done with everything. She'd come, uh huh? What are the problems? What are you experiencing? What do you need help with? What do you need guidance? We would finish short course, short course, short course out of the house <laughs> the rest of the week. And she was always Sing on yeah. speed dial. Yeah. Yeah. Call yeah. me, Pumla. Don't worry. If you and true to be guys. Yeah. I swam, we just fear, but we can do yeah. all of these things mm. ourselves. We, we are just afraid. And, and I think supportive partner is important because yeah. I must admit, um, Teja's dad was supportive yeah. at the time, but there was also so much he could do, you know. There was yeah. so much he could do, but I, I could see even if they had left me with that child by myself. But then, and there are not many fathers like that. Maybe even as we speak, they and are the fathers very who are watching, I'm, I'm oh, supportive, you, yes. supportive. Oh, they are not. No, no, no they, they are, are not. not. I'm so sorry. And it's, and it's, it's, going it's, to it's women who have had supportive partners. I think that assume that most women. That's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. So that's there are not true. many fathers like that, that's and true. I think that this this tradition has also made them even mm. lazier. Yeah. Mm. So, but the truth is, you can actually handle. You can. I also, I also feel that there are some people can. Yes, that is true. Like Some people can. That's that true. Are in, That's true. Uh, outside countries, they really you have, do. This they do. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I also feel like put in a situation, especially for you, her child. You but for me also, then this is a time when they Organized feel like yourself. they would be with their parents. They would rather. Yeah, they would rather. Yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> Yeah, as they were interrupting me, <laughs> that C-section presents a slightly different dynamic. For sure, Absolutely. yeah. For sure. And and unless your partner is like willing to get into the trenches with For you sure. and like help clean the wound, blah blah blah, I I would still recommend For sure. go go. Oh home. yeah, so our birth plan with my mom. Yeah. My mom was letting. Please not. My mom was like my pregnancy partner. Oh okay. So pregnancy partner meaning that. She was doing, like, doing everything in her power to ensure, of course you plan and God laughs, yeah. but doing everything in her power to ensure yeah. that I had a vaginal bar. Vaginal bar and yes, yeah. people have done exactly the same things and it has gone the other way. Yeah. But for her, she was like, no, you will you have it. it. But in the birth plan we had with her, she said in the event mm. that you do have a C-section, mm. you'll come home. Oh, yeah, okay. That, that was yeah. in the plan. That was the plan. The oh, okay. Plan. Yeah. Yeah. For mm. sure. And that's also even if you just want to go home. <laughs> you can just go home. Just go home. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. go home. After child. all, the bond will come. You eventually. Will yes. come. Yes. Eventually. Yeah. But, you know, you, you know your person. Know your person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Know your person. Know your there are men who are so scared of tiny Little babies. babies. Yeah. And you're forcing the bond on them. And they're like, man, This now. is true. The baby is so tiny. I'll drop the baby. Why are you giving? So please, 
<laughs> at the end of this, just go and know your person. Say, how, how do you feel about a newborn? So that you know your person. You can go. <laughs> and you'll get shocked. Guy. You're the only one taking care of your child. Guy. Your husband is in the bar. Because. The whole evening. Not because he didn't want to support you. But he's thinking really of that squiggly little thing that is inside there with its eyes wide open, just <laughs> constantly drinking your breast. Whoa, whoa. Please, know your person, no, so that don't, you know what don't, works Don't for remind you. me, I had to get my baby, put them in the car seat. I waited for saline lotion solution. Uh -huh. Is it coming? Okay. It's not coming. Is there the person bringing it was he appearing? Hey, hey. Nothing. I had to put my baby in the car at 2 a.m. in the morning oh to go to a pharmacy, wow. get the saline solution, put in the thing, come back home. I think we are two me and the baby. Hey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, it's hard. But, and because yeah. and for him it's because he was a supportive partner anger everyone gets tired me yes. because i'm stuck with a baby as the mom yeah. i can't leave my baby you but guys. for him he can take time mm. over yeah. oh, i'm done guys yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we should be that I'm night not yeah. i'm not coming to the corona it's <laughs> not <laughs> today <laughs> Then I had the gate opening there like at 5 a.m. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we'll see. Past solid solution. But anyway. Solid. <laughs> Dr. Matthew, as we come to the end of this, you talked about having postnatal services as um, marriage stops. And the truth is, for many of us, our doctors stop. Because they see a healthy baby, you come back after three weeks or after six weeks, mm. then it's now... It, actually, all attention goes from the mother to the baby mm. immediately the baby comes mm. now it is the baby's immunizations is the baby fine and you wonder i'm also not fine doctor you know so what are some of the services that you provide postnatal for both the mother and the child okay um thank you again for the experiences yeah they surely are <laughs> so um the services that are offered uh, Post delivery are both to the mother and, uh, to, and to the baby. Yeah. We don't entirely ignore the mother. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, actually, many many mothers uh, complain that actually we focus more on the mother yeah. and we ignore the babies. Mm -hmm. However, as uh, as our team at Mary Stops, um, we we recommend at least five five postnatal visits or reviews oh. yeah? um, these are scheduled by the time you leave the hospital you should have had two reviews mm. yeah mm. at least six weeks after no six hours after delivery uh, and then the one at 20 at uh, at uh, 24, 24 hours mm. Mm. Uh, that's why we encourage mothers to stay to stay in the hospital at least for a day not that to not to mm. pick up and leave and after leave, delivery. Yeah. yeah, so we do that especially to identify any, any emergencies that might cause these preventable maternal deaths mm. like uh, the bleeding, the yeah. hypertensive disorders can pop up here mm. and there. And also it's an opportunity for, the, for our mothers to, to learn from from us about what to expect during this period because mm. you're pregnant until until six weeks mm. after after you've delivered mm. yeah. oh. the body's physiology is still, still, still the same yeah. yes pregnancy, like yeah. that of a pregnant woman okay so we 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 try as much as possible to educate you about what to expect which mm. complications to, uh, to that if you from. if you identify them you come straight to the to hospital the we give you a mechanism in which you could uh, uh, communicate such challenges so that yeah. you're supported. Um, from Pumla's uh, submission, it was it was very it was very important that actually the mother was actually the one who was guiding her through all these mm. things. However, our our team, our team of midwives, have been empowered to actually guide mothers through this process okay. Mm? Okay. during those first initial. Uh, hours for uh, the 24 hours post delivery and also like uh, cesarean section is usually mm. up to three days mm. Yeah? Mm. we always want to support the mother so that uh, she can uh, she can take care of her baby she can take care of uh, uh, probably the wound after mm. after c-section yeah. yeah so after after discharge after probably the the the, the first day after delivery and also the third, we expect 
the mothers to come back after six days, mm -hmm. after approximately a week. A week, yeah. Um, so uh, having a mother go back to her parents' place might, uh, okay, it might be difficult mm. uh, to, to make that review if, if probably the mother, the parents' place is outside town and all mm. that. Mm. So sometimes many who keep that visit are these, these who stay nearby and oh, who, yes. who stay with their spouses. Mm. Um, where they would stay, where they would stay after delivery, either with the mother or, the, or, or, or with your spouse is entirely, it's entirely dictated by you. Uh, mm. But the benefits and the, the, the demerits and the merits of both have been clearly stated. Mm -hmm. When you're with your parents, they treat you like a baby. Mm. Yeah, they give you all the care you want. Child, yeah. You actually, you just get up to breastfeed your baby mm. and the rest follows. When you're with your spouse, there's that risk that man, <laughs> that the man might live. Hey. <laughs> hey. Yes, oh, and yeah. him, yes. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that and is also the one of when you're in your mother-in-law's mm. house. Yes, also the yeah. mother-in-law's house. Then there's also when they can come to your to house. Your there's house. so many, mm. there's yes. so many options. Mm. Yeah. Those so were suggested all those, for all those dynamics yeah. refused very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> all those dynamics have their benefits and their yeah, exactly. their demerits. Then uh, there is a visit that is most uh, most usually usually it's ignored by many by many mothers because because it's actually way after the delivery the baby has grown the one at six months hmm? mm -hmm. so we also want to encourage mothers to come at six months we check on how the baby is doing and how you've entirely reverted okay. back to your mama yeah, those man. Man. <laughs> mothers are ready to have <laughs> Actually, on that note, <laughs> one of the services we emphasize is family, family planning, planning. Yeah. birth control <laughs> services, okay. which can be given immediately. Oh, Lord. That one, which can be given at six weeks. Even six women, months. Women. Six women. 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 It happens. It happens. I think uh, it they are there. <laughs> they are here with they the are all seated here. amongst us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So in addition to all that, um, mm -hmm. to the home care that you get from your parents or your spouse, we we have an open toll-free line. Okay. Um, it's available on our websites. You can always you can always call in and and ask how how to manage some challenges you get oh, during the okay. nice. the postnatal period. We actually have mechanisms where nurses can actually go and have the visits done. Mm. In the case where, like, uh, someone can't come, someone someone is not coping with the whole situation, and they want somebody mm. to come and actually be there for a while, mm. yeah. like how you were debating with your mother, mm. <laughs> like that. Eh? I tell you. <laughs> so somebody professional can come and mm. actually and help to give you the hands-on care, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that you you can. Especially with breastfeeding, because I do yeah. remember having a breastfeeding consultant come mm. home because mm. the children, mm. Blake was not latch. latching, then when he had learned how to latch, he really wasn't getting enough breast milk, and she's the one who told mm. us. Mm. And then Bianca had a tongue tie, then we had to go, but it was an expert who told us, because mm. me and my mother were just there in shock yes, together. Yes, sometimes <laughs> we actually have no idea what's happening, but yes, you need somebody, yes. yeah. yeah, hands on there. Wow. Um, thank you so much, Dr. Matthew, yeah. for coming um, and allowing us to entertain you with our experiences. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. But while we entertained you, you were giving us information. Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah. So mm. Mary Stops a Hospital and Maternity yes. is mm. at First Mall. Yes. Very, very accessible. and um, 24 hours. 24 hours, yes. 24 open 24 hours. I think mm. that's perfect. Um, thank you so much, ladies, for sharing your experiences. Let us know in the comment section intrapartum and postpartum experience has been. If you are expecting and you're looking for a hospital, I don't know. I feel like you are playing in the answer. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Please, you just ask for <laughs> me. Just, yeah. I saw you at Bump Lab. <laughs> Can you be my guy? Bump Lab guy. That's a nice one. Bump Lab guy. Yes, yeah. let us yeah. know in the comment section. Of course, our beautiful set, uh, courtesy of Golden Tulip. Um, right in the heart of Kampala, perfect for fine dining, um, 
a lovely meal with your family, with your friends, so do come over. And of course, a uh, massive shout out to our partners once again, Zuri Luxury Hair, Shoe Puzzle, Shades of Beauty, and Fashion Episode. And that's it from us. Until next time, with love from Bump Lab. Thank you. Bump Lab was brought to you by... Each of us is here to help, heal, listen, and care. At Mary Stops Hospital, you matter. Book your appointment today on 0800-120-333 or visit our physical location at Forest Mall, Lugogo.